Hi everyone, welcome to the Duracell Quick Coat Burnish Demo. Um, before we get started here, let me just ask you a question, a show of hands. How many people have ever used a Duracell stain before? So there's something interesting about that. We don't make any stains. We make Quick Coat Penetrating Finish and Penetrating Finish that contractors often use as a stain, but they've always been a finish. So what we're here to show you is something that's been forgotten about by an entire generation of floor guys. And it's using the penetrating finish or the quick coat penetrating finish as the finished product. So my name's Toby Merrill. I'm a contractor specialist with Duraseal. I'm based out of Chicago area. I've been playing around on floors for about 21 years as a contractor and pretty recently new to the manufacturer side. This is Adolfo Gomringer. He's a contractor specialist for us out in LA. And our volunteer uh, is Dan Portu, Heritage Hardwood Floors out of North Carolina. Um, so what we're going to actually demonstrate today, we're going to put down some nutmeg quick coat on our panel. We prepared this section of the panel with iron acetate. So iron acetate is a homemade product using vinegar and steel wool. When you add the, the steel wool to the vinegar, there's a chemical reaction that occurs and it reacts with the tannins and white oak is especially high in tannins. So it turns it that color. So we just let, gave that about a 12 hour soak and that's the result. We're gonna put the nutmeg right over both areas and you, we'll show you a couple different effects that you can achieve with it. We don't have time to put the second coat of quick coat on, but it's really the same process to duplicate it. So we're gonna get started here. I'm a big fan of pad applicating or uh, lambs wooling on the quick coat. Some guys buff it on, but for this process, it's really important to put enough on. We recommend four or 500 feet a gallon, and it's important to hit that because you're counting on this to be the finish. It's not just adding in a color. So the penetrating finish would compare pretty well to penetrating oils that are big on the market now. It penetrates in and provides the protection from inside the wood. The solids content is right in the mid 30s. And when you buff it in with steel wool, it burnishes the wood and creates that smooth layer that feels nice and wears well. For a color effect? It is. It's for a color effect to show just an enhanced color effect. So we'll. I don't install this stuff. I expect it to be somebody out of the box. Gotcha. The question was about if this is just a color effect or something else. So it's simply vinegar and steel wool, and it provides that dark grayish, almost sometimes purplish color, but you can see the drastic effect it has on the stain color here. So after Dan applies the, uh, the quick coat, Adolfo is gonna give it a quick wipe before we burnish it in with the steel wool, and that just helps prevent the little flingers of stain that are common when buffing with the heavy application of quick coat. While they're applying that, uh, just a couple comments about our quick coat in comparison to other staining products. The, the, the actual color in the stain comes from a rock. It's gilsonite. And it's, you know, rocks don't fade. So when you see fading in floors, it's actually not the stain that's fading away. It's other factors that are creating that faded look. It could be the wood oxidizing. It could be a finish effect. But the stain itself isn't capable of fading because it's a rock that's providing the color. So some other homemade special effects can be done using other concoctions. Um, it's fairly common to use baking soda and water to create an effect. It'll be a lighter gray effect and sometimes even like a smoked type of effect where it's a yellowish color. Um, woods that aren't high in tannins, uh, which is just about everything except white oak, um, you can actually add tannins into them. Um, so red oak, to get a more consistent effect, you could pop the grain using black tea Black tea has tannins in it, so if you use that first, then you can use the iron acetate following that to get a similar effect as on the white oak. If you don't do the black tea or a similar tannin, tannin adding effect, you'll get a very inconsistent reaction, which for some customers can be a good thing. Some boards will react and some won't.
And you can see we're not doing a very thorough wiping job. That's because we're still going to buff with the steel wool to burnish the grain in. So the, the quick coat has always been a finish, but in the industry, we've always known it as a stain. Like I said, an entire generation of flooring people have kind of forgotten about this process. If you go back 40 or 50 years, that was a very common floor. Two coats of the original penetrating finish buffed in with steel wool. And for a really premium floor, you might add a coat of paste wax onto it. That would have been you know, the, the good and better options uh, 50 or 60 years ago. So Dan's just wrapping up on the application here. We're gonna give this last section a quick wipe and then we're gonna start uh, burnishing the grain with the steel wool pads. Has anybody seen steel wool pads before, the pre-made pads? So when I started doing floors 21 years ago, we used to just take the rolled steel wool and wrap it around the bottom of the buffer plate. These are really handy to be pre-made and you just slap them on the bottom of the buffer and go. It's three steel wool. <clears throat> We've played with uh, from one to three, I believe, and it can change the sheen depending on how coarse you use. If you're using it as a finish, absolutely. If you're just staining, um, it's, it's fine, but it's not necessary to, uh, to do that. The steel wool is smoothing out the open grain fibers and closing it off, and that's what provides the finished floor surface. The question was if steel wool is necessary to the process. And so no, to create a color, it's absolutely not. But to use it as a finish, it is. So the question, are there other things we can put over to achieve different effects? So you could, after this process, if the homeowner decided they didn't like it, you could put a clear urethane over it still with no issue. Um, also, we've played some with ceruse defects, creating white grain. Um, and we're hoping to unveil a process for that in the near future. <clears throat> yeah, so the question was, uh, some of his customers do a, a coat of stain or the, the quick coat penetrating finish and then do a second clear coat of the neutral um, and really it would just be adding in that second coat of protection without altering the color at all. Although we found that the second coat does very little to change the color. It's more just to make sure that the grain is fully saturated with the finish so that you get the maximum protection. But I think that the, the neutral would achieve the same effect. You're still putting the, the penetrating finish in. Not significantly. Some of that would depend on how adequately you did the coverage on the first coat. If you had it on too thin, you might get a little color change. But if you put it down at the recommended rate, it would be very little to no color change. <clears throat> so Dan's working his way off the back of the panel there. Adolfo's just going over to get any stray uh, blingers of the penetrating finish. And so the process would be to just give this a couple hours of dry time and then you could go right into the second coat of penetrating finish. And again, that one is just more to fill in the gaps to, to make sure you have complete coverage, burnish it one more time, and you end up with a finished product. The, the question is, would the steel wool scratch a softer wood like pine? And I would say not significantly. Um, as long as you're using the proper aught steel wool, um, it would be a very minimal and not noticeable effect. And possibly even on a software like that, you may want to add a third coat if you didn't have maximum penetration after the, after the two. So we often get asked about what the maintenance would be on this type of floor. So we make a product, Duraceal Renovator, and you can apply that with a pad and buff it periodically, once a year, depending on wear and tear. If you had wear through spots where raw wood was showing, you can add a little bit of the same color quick coat back into it, into the renovator, and you can apply that and buff it on. No, this would not be appropriate for a recoat on an existing floor unless it had been previously done with this process. Yeah, no, this would not be. So you'd have to sand it clear down to the bottom? Yes. 
yes, you'd have to sand it down to raw wood to start with this process. Any questions? Renovator, yes. You, well, you'd apply with a pad, just like we did here, or, or lamb's wool, and buff off with steel wool. The Renovator is a maintenance product rather than the, 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 the finish, so um, it's got some other stuff in there for maintenance reasons. We could ask our chemist about that. You could wax the floor after the two coats, yes, and then it would be a wax fit floor for the rest of its uh, time before resanding. So your options after doing this process, leaving it alone as is with the two coats of quick coat, um, that would be a maintainable floor using the renovator. You could wax it, um, and then it would be maintained with wax. Or you could apply a urethane top coat, uh, oil or water-based top coat. You could put it right over it and have a traditional urethane finish at that point as well. One thing worth noting is Quick Coat is Green Guard certified, and we're really the only um, stain type of product on the market currently that is Green Guard certified. After the second coat, it is done. Um, we found it's walkable in a few hours and really light traffic the next day. With care, just like with any, you know, like with a urethane product, it's never going to be uh, bulletproof, of course. So with care, sure. So the, the question is, what are some problems that you could see with this type of uh, finish? So it's definitely different than a urethane finish that really our generation of floor guys has gotten used to. So there is no clear coat build over it. You're counting on the wood itself to offer the protection and the, the quick coat penetrates in. So. Um, the, the durability would be definitely different than a urethane um, and better or worse depending on the type of wear and tear. But there's really nothing there. There's no film to create problems. There's no film to be cloudy. There's no film to stretch. So it's all within the wood itself. Yeah, so if there were streaks in the wood, that would, yeah, would probably be in the sanding or um, in the application of the product. If you notice right in this area here, we have some darker marks. There was some shipping damage of our panel, and we hand sanded those out. You can see the, the, the resulting marks from that. The, the heat from the steel wool is key, as well as the sanding action of the steel wool to burnish the grain. The heat to force the quick coat down and in, and the, 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 the abrasiveness of the steel wool to smooth it.